On the GTO video, I received a couple comments and some private messages asking about the windows that I made for the car when I got rid of the orange glass. And so uh, in response to that, I'm doing this video. I'm trying to make this quickly so that you can see what was involved. I'm trying to get this up uh, tonight. So there's the micro crystal clear that I used. The bottle may not seem that big, but you use very little when you're doing this. Uh, so, I picked a car that had an ugly-ass orange window. Unfortunately, there's several to choose from. Uh, drilled it out, separated it, and here I'm trying to use it. So what you do is you take a toothpick, and what they say to do is go around the edges, and then what you're going to try and do is pull the film, in effect, across. And think of this stuff as having kind of the consistency of white glue. Um, it takes a certain amount before you'll be able to pull it across and yet at the same time you want it to be as thin as possible or at least I'm thinking uh, you want it as thin as possible um, I tried to do this on a stripped car last night to do a video of this and it wasn't as it wasn't successful um, and so I'm thinking you're better off if you if you have a painted body that you're working with uh, so you see here I'm just trying to get it to pull across and I finally get it to happen. So that's all you're trying to do is you're trying to in effect get that almost like a bubble across there. So once you have that it seems to me it's best to keep it as flat as possible so that it doesn't build up thickness towards the bottom edge or the top edge. Uh, so I use the helping hands to try and keep it even and flat um, so that it doesn't build up in a particular area. And this is also why I think, uh, before I go on, you'll see me cleaning it here with a wet Q-tip. Um, this stuff is water soluble. And so uh, before it starts to set, you'll want to clean up any excess around the edges. At the same time, trying not to snag it. Uh, as it starts to dry pretty quickly. It, it's a slow process of drying, but that initial hardening of the film happens pretty quickly. And you'll definitely want to keep the bottle sealed well. Um, you don't want it to dry out. After about an hour, here's where we were drying-wise. It does take a while. Uh, you can see it's starting to clear in the center. I think trying to tint it uh, I tried tinting it with uh, food coloring on the ones I did last night. I was trying, I was experimenting with it. I'm not sure that's going to work because I think the tinting is going to be thicker in the edges. And so it won't be an even color across the glass. So possibly, and I'll try this on a later build, I'm thinking you'll want to coat it like this to create the window and then possibly do another batch with food coloring in it and maybe just using a brush paint it across the inside of the window and see how that goes. The film tinted was it was nice towards the center uh, but it had this dark banding around the edges uh, where it was extra thick. So uh, that's how it works. I hope this gives you a good idea of what you're in for if you give it a shot. Uh, I'd like to hear your stories, how it works out for you. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Hope it's been of some help.